Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to today's StarCraft 2 broadcast. Brought to you by Captain America LXG. We are watching some collegiate Star League action. We've actually got a little TVP for you today. To get these guys introduced, spawning here in the top left hand corner of Antigua Shipyard. It is Oakland University's Yoshi. Playing as the Pink Terran. His opponent, cross map in the bottom right hand corner playing for Kent State University. It is the Red Protoss top. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Captain America LXG. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. As this match gets underway, I'd just like to give a big shout out to our sponsors X, Y, and Z for making all of this possible. And of course, I'd like to thank all of you fans and players out there. We cannot and would not be able to do this without you. And uh, I have to say, it is so much fun to be commentating and casting that uh, I certainly do enjoy it, and thank you all for making it possible. Alright, so, a little bit of a supply depot here from Yoshi. We'll see what kind of gameplay these two players will go for. They do, apparently Top does know this is a cross spawn only map. I did not know that, but it looks like the players do know that, at least Top does. As the barracks goes down here for Yoshi in the main. Nice and close to his, uh, his mineral line here. He'll be able to pull some SCVs over to help with this pesky little probe. And Terran players, oh, they do know just how pesky those probes can be. Racks in the gas. One of those standard Terran openings. Oh, no, Yoshi. Not microing well enough there. And our pesky probe gets a kill. One kill already. Will he get another? Stay tuned for the conclusion. After these messages brought to you by Top of the Red Protoss. We do have Gateway into a simulator in here for the Protoss player as that pro gets back to work. Will it get another kill? Oh my, this could be a two kill day. Nope, Yoshi's saying, you fooled me once, but I'm not going to let you fool me twice. Gets the barracks complete. Marine on the way. And these day, the days are numbered for Top's little probe here. Uh, let's see. So it is cross spawn on this map. Oh, SCV's pulled. Oh, and a little bit of revenge there for Yoshi killing the probe. Saying, get out of my base. I don't like you, you Protoss player. Marine out. Doing a little dance. Doing a little dance. Don't do, do, do. It's like Saturday night fever. All right, so it is cross spawn on this map, uh, Antigua Shipyard. And I'm surprised to see neither player choosing for an early expansion here. Of course, the ramps are fairly wide. Can be hard to wall off. Here goes that factory now after the, uh, the ga early gas of Yoshi. Looks like... Will we see a possible 1-1-1 one, one, one here, or some kind of Banshee expands? No second guys. Oh, as I say that, actually, the second guys are going down. It looks like we will be seeing a starport coming up here. And uh, here comes a Chronoed Stalker warp gate as well. It looks like Top's going to throw a Nexus down here, though. And the question will be, can he fend off this early, mid er, <clears throat> early pressure here from Yoshi? Let's see what kind of game plan Yoshi has. No fa uh, no starport just yet. Marines patrolling around. With that early gas and a bunker, there we go. I was going to say it does look like Yoshi's gearing up for some one base play. Starport out, likely see a tech lab here. It does look like a banshee play. And it's just a question of what Yoshi's going to do. Is he going to expand behind this banshee or does he intend to actually go for the 1-1-1? Very common in TVP. And check it out. That is a tech lab, so... We'll have to stay tuned. Three ra uh, three gates now. Done for top. Little a <clears throat> little backbone for his expansion. Uh, he is late on the robotics facility, not grabbing his second gas. As you'll see, some Protoss players do these days. They do grab it actually before the Nexus. It helps speed up the robo. But uh, he's actually grabbing that now, transferring some probes to his natural. And it looks like our uh, state player could be in a little bit of trouble with this Banshee does look like we will have Cloak as well, so uh, Yoshi's going to commit to this Banshee here, but the factory has floated over to the right side of the base, and it looks like we're not going to have any production out of there, no tanks, so it is just a Banshee expand at this point from Yoshi, unless of course this Banshee wins the game, but there's that Robo facility, the robotics facility is on the way, and your top will need that for some detection as Cloak is almost halfway done. 
have to see how much damage you can do. Uh, a little bit of a supply block here for Yoshi. Where are those depots? Gotta keep building. Here we go. Yoshi getting it done just a little bit late as he throws down his CC. Little Banshee expands. Um, you know, it's still one of those common things we do see in TVP. Especially with Protoss players faving early expansions. It leaves him a little bit vulnerable to this cloaked Banshee harass. And oh, is he gonna get sight of this? I don't think Top saw that on the minimap. It looks like the Banshee actually just flying past the uh, the watchtower vision here of Top. And could Oakland get some early damage in here with this Banshee? I'm not certain that we do have an armory on the way now. Be interesting to see where Yoshi's gonna go with this. Will it be for Thor's? It's awful early for any kind of air upgrades um, and you usually don't see mech in TVP but you do every now and then for certain it is a possibility oh a robotics bay as the banshee comes in going for a kill here two kills and here come the stalker and sentry where is that observer ladies and gentlemen it might actually be out in the middle of the map we're gonna have to wait for the second will Joshi cloak his banshee though before it goes down a little late on the cloak there we go he does cloak it gotta keep that alive just a little bit longer this observer a little late to the party nine kills right now ten kills eventually gonna get at least one more oh micro onto a stalker though could have just been the AI doing that and not Yoshi oh he does lose the banshee not keeping close tabs on it looks like that second observer actually falling back now we'll check it scout does see that CC it knows uh, there is an expansion up this is not a 111 uh, 1101 all in, I should say. It is, of course, the 111, and that it is a Ferrex factory and then Starport. Uh, second Banshee on the way here. And let's see how much damage Yoshi can do. There's an observer here at the natural. So far, we do have 16 players killed. And that Banshee going to be negated very early on, getting three kills or falling back. And of course, it will be able to sit here in the bottom right hand corner for some time, waiting and yet again another opportunity to strike. There is a, sec a third Banshee on the left side as well and of course that Colossus tech was scouted with Yoshi's first Banshee so he does know he was going to see some Colossus here how will he prepare with Thor's it is Thor Thor is here as we get two Banshees coming in at once we will see the worker kill count go up immeasurably here Top having a little trouble holding this off he does have two observers but where are they Top you're losing a lot of probes they, oh, the one at the natural does go down. The second one here in the main. In trouble, the observer coming in behind. Looks like it will get out with seven kills, taking Yoshi up to 27 total. A little bit of a missed rally here for Yoshi in the natural. He's grabbing both of his geysers. And is he actually, let's see, dual starport going down. So we're going to have three starports. Looks like, is this mech plating? It is vehicle plating level one for those Thors. And then Yoshi going to go into some kind of a Sky Terran build. Keeping his Marine count up. Definitely very important right now. With the Protoss player, actually, if you check that income tab, down by about 14 Harvesters plus the Mules. And that has to be frustrating for Top. I'm sure he did not want to take quite that much damage here from the Banshees. But he has stabilized just a little bit. Looks like we are not going to see any more pressure at this point. Oh, nope, there goes Yoshi, grabbing this one. He's gonna come in now, waiting, waiting. Here he goes, into the main again, and these Banshees have to be so frustrating. The Observer is here, but there are no units. No pylon either, two warped in behind the middle line. And the army has to come all the way back here from the ramp at the natural. Looks like they're gonna get the kill, though. The Banshee's just too low on hit points. Taking Yoshi up to 32 workers total. A Raven out, and... Oh, Actually, that was not two starports going down. It was two factories and two starports. I clicked. There we go. So it's going to be Thor, Banshee, Raven with Marines, of course. A couple bunkers here to negate any kind of counterattack from top as the third CC goes down. And a very interesting style. It's very refreshing to see this from Yoshi. Obviously different from the typical TVP bio, you know, MMM. VG as they call it, Marine Marauder Medivac with Vikings and Ghosts, Vikings for the Colossi, Ghosts for the Templar, and uh, we'll have to see how it fares, those Thors uh, could do a lot of damage, another Banshee here actually getting 10 kills, and uh, was this actually the one from early on, looks like, no, Ten. those 10 kills are brand new, taking Yoshi up to 42, 
Here comes that Colossus army though, and will Yoshi be able to defend? They are at the ramp before the Marines are in the bunkers. SCVs walking to their deaths. Zealots up, force fields go down. This bunker is going to fall. eBay might just go down as well. The force fields now keeping the Terran army back. He pulls his SCVs, actually rallying up to the front lines. Thor's in, taking out the Observer. And can Yoshi hold? He's got quite a few SCVs. Actually, all of the SCVs falling to this dual Colossus here. And now it's just Colossus versus Thor, top in trouble. He's going to lose his army as he does pylon block the third. Going for a Warp Prism Harass into the backside of the main here. Yoshi, does he see this? <clears throat> Where is his reaction? Does not see this. A little late, he's going to lose. Oh, that is... Those are DTs. And I actually apologize, I didn't miss that Dark Shrine going down here at the natural. Looks like they do do some damage. A Raven here, though, with the Banshee is going to negate a lot of that. And Base Yoshi, yes, he did attack. not scout this either. He did not see the DTs. But he's definitely going to be in a great position as he has two Tech Lab starboards right here with, of course, one Raven and two Banshees. Now he just needs a Viking to hunt down that Warp Prism. Or a couple Missile Turrets and he'll be in good shape. That last DT is going to fall. Top only, well, actually able to get 29 workers killed. Of course, a lot of those were in that engagement here at the Natural. And Yoshi's going to set up the third, checking the income tab. It's still a good 10 Harvester lead for Yoshi. Staying ahead here, 2-1 to one in supply. Kent State currently down right now. Can Top bring them back in game one? A couple of mortals at the Natural just chilling. Here are some DTs as well. It's going to be a DT Immortal Army. As I say that, two Stalkers and two Sentries coming in. And ship level, ship weapons level 2, as uh, we do see an interesting, unique style. Thor, Banshee, Raven. Actually, six Thors here. And that's quite a few. The SCVs come in over to repair. Yoshi in a great spot. There's just hard, it's hard to answer for Thors in TVP. Uh, of course, feedback does do quite a bit of damage when they're full energy. It takes away half the health. But it doesn't look like where um. There we go, that is the Templar Archives, okay. So we do have a Templar Archives, we'll see some Storm, I mean, I'm sorry, apologies, some Templar possibly for feedback, but it's going to be hard to feedback that many Banshees, four coming out with a Raven now, an Observer here to scout, actually he's going to miss everything, luckily though this Warp Prism does run right into it, so Top's got a heads up, as four Banshees come into the main here, where is the answer, five Warp Gates up, going to need some Stalkers here, Top, and an Observer, where is your Observer? And Raven is sitting on full energy. We will see some PDDs. This could be a GG moment. Certainly going to hurt quite a bit. Those PDDs going to take out a lot of the damage from the Stalkers. And Yoshi just in a great position here. When you get two PDDs into the main, or two point defense drones into the main of your opponent, uh, it's going to give him a lot of room to operate. Feedback, though, from this one Templar. Will the second Templar get a feedback? He does. Okay, great play from the top. Keep him in this game. Now he's actually sending units out across the map. His immortals, five immortals. Holy cow, that's a lot of immortals. They are headed across the map, trying to do a counterattack, but they're actually going to be hunted down by a couple banshees. The Nexus in the main in trouble. Yoshi going for the kill. He's got enough Thors here. He's going to be able to handle this quite well. And actually, not going for it. The uh, 25, 250mm strike cannons, which do one-shot immortals, but still. That makes, what is it, eight Thors with five immortals. Just no contest. Looks like Oakland University poised to go up 1-0 right now in this collegiate Star League game. <laughs> they will, of course, get game two up for you shortly. Let's see, what do we have? A few Zealots and Observer. Well... Looks like, yes, top is going to GG. Well played. And a very interesting, great style here from Yoshi. Thank you all for tuning in. I am Captain America LXG. It's been my pleasure casting this for the Collegiate Star League. Thank you guys. Keep crafting.